We welcome Bethany Lutheran College softball coach Dan Nessler to the stage. Dan, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Lucas. Dan, you're in your first uh, couple months on the job here at Bethany. What are some of the main duties you and your staff are tackling early on in your tenure here at Bethany? Well, we, we finished up fall ball, um, but right now really our main focus is recruiting. We're working, uh, talking with high school seniors for the most part, uh, some junior college transfers, but we're trying to get recruits in here for uh, not this season, but the following season. Like you said, you just finished your uh, first fall ball season as a head coach. What were some of the goals and expectations heading into the fall season, and how did those play out throughout the fall season? Well, a as a staff, we really kind of felt we needed to start to change the culture a little bit. We needed to, to get the kids lifting. We needed to get a work ethic going that uh, was conducive to getting better every day. Um, the, the kids worked really hard. I, I think that it went real well. Um, we really want to implement the basics here. We, we need to make the basic plays of pick it up, catch it, and throw it, and eliminate our errors. We had too many errors last year, and uh, if we can play cleaner, we're going to be a better softball team. So uh, your 2017 softball s schedule is officially out, and it's actually in front of us here. You open up against St. Olaf, followed by Carleton and McAllister. That's six Mayak schools to start off before you go on your spring trip. How will uh, that help you guys down the road when you start conference play? Well, I, I think that any time you can play good quality competition, um, win or lose, it gives you a, a bar that's set so we know what to work on. Um, we, we need to get better. We need to field the ball. We need to throw the ball. We need to pitch it and do all the things that need to happen. And I think playing Mayak schools is going to help us there. Um, you know, by the time we get done with our preseason stuff, playing in the domes up in the metro area, we'll go down south and play 10 more games down in Arizona and, and really try to get ourselves set up to where we can make a run in this conference tournament in the UMAC conference. Talk a little bit about the players that we'll see on the field this year, uh, players in the middle of the lineup, players in the, in the circle for you. If you could elaborate on that, that'd be great. Well, we, you know, we have a limited roster right now. We've only got 13 kids, and uh, obviously we want to change that, and that's, that's that recruiting part of things. But, you know, we've got some kids returning that we expect a lot out of. Um, you know, I think mainly we're looking for a lot out of Anna Pippenhagen. I mean, she, she's the one that can really carry the load here. She was hurt last year, had some tendonitis in her shoulder. If we can get Anna healthy, batting in the middle of our lineup, uh, pitching every other game, and maybe coming in in relief in other games when we're ahead late in the game, uh, we're, we're going to be a lot better team. But, you know, overall, I think all the kids are going to contribute, but I think Anna's kind of the kingpin here. Right. What style of play can we expect for your, from your team um, this coming year and years down the road? Fundamentals are going to be key. Uh, we tell the kids uh, every day in practice, let's give them 21 outs. When we start giving them more than 21 outs, we're in trouble. Um, and last year they did that. They, they had way too many errors. So um, we're going to play good, solid, fundamental ball. We're going to try to move runners up. We're going to play one run at a time. And uh, when we get ahead, we're going to keep trying to tack on. And, uh, you know, it, We've got some goals. We're, we're going to set ourselves some goals here uh, to, to try to finish uh, in the top five of this UMAC conference, UMAC conference and try to get to the conference tournament. And in order to do that, we just have to play cleaner softball than we did in the past. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Coach Nessler, for joining us. And uh, continue to check, check out blcvikings.com for your latest news regarding Viking athletics. Thank you. Go Vikings.